How's it going everyone? It's Ethan here with eTrailer. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Yakima roof rack system with our Jetstream crossbars and showing you how to install them on our 2022 GMC Sierra. If you're transporting a large amount of items or just large items in general and you don't have room in your bed or they're just items you'd rather keep out of the cabin of your vehicle, a roof rack system like this is going to be a good way to do that. The crossbars that we have here are in aerodynamic shape so they taper in the back just to cut down on some of that wind noise and wind resistance. With any sort of roof rack system you'll get a little bit, but this is nice that it cuts some of that down. Additionally it does feature this rubberized strip inside this T-Track slot, so you can use these roof rack with T-Track accessories, and there's no need to trim the actual strip to get those on. As far as the length of our crossbars go, there are a couple of different options as far as length. These are 60 inches, which we found gives us enough room on top and enough overhang. The overhang that we have, we're measuring at five inches, which gives you a little bit more room for accessories without being overbearing or sticking over your vehicle too much. With a weight capacity of 165 pounds, these crossbars will do a fine job of storing most of the bigger items that you might need. But something to keep in mind when you are storing those items is, is are they going to make contact with the top of your roof? So we'll just measure from the roof to the bottom of our crossbars. It's about three and a half inches, so if your accessories do have clamps or things that hang under the crossbars, you want to keep that measurement in mind. Additionally, to see how much height we're adding to the top of our vehicle is about four and a quarter inches. So if you live with these crossbars on your vehicle, that's how much you're going to be adding to it. Additionally, if you have taller bindings on your skis or things like that, it's a good measurement to keep in mind to see if those will make contact with your vehicle as well. To start the install process, we like to just lay everything out, making sure that we know what everything is and that we have it. So we're going to obviously have our crossbar here, two towers, the covers for the towers, two hooks that'll keep the actual feet in place, two pads for the bottom, and our end caps. Additionally, there is a provided tool, and we recommend going ahead and grabbing a fabric tape measure. They do provide one, but we have our own. We'll start by assembling our towers. First thing, we we'll probably want to loosen this metal plate here. You do that first actually by releasing this security lever. As you can see, it covers it. And if you pull it back, you have access to get in there. So we'll loosen that. And in our case, there are three different steps for the GMC Sierra that we're going to be putting these on. They do recommend setting it to C, but make sure you check the manual and see what is recommended for your vehicle. Now the next step is to get the actual feet on our towers. So ours came with a plastic cover. We just removed that and making sure that this arrow on the tower is facing out. It just snaps into place. And now we can go ahead and slide this onto our crossbar. Because we loosened that metal plate earlier, it should just slide right onto our track, like so. Make sure you consult the manual to see the specific measurements for your vehicle. But as you can see, there are little ruler notches on the actual crossbars themselves. So using those, we'll slide the feet to the point where we need it, which is right about here in our case, and we can get that tightened down. Once we have our feet on, we can put our end caps back on, just like that. As you can see, we already have our first crossbar installed. We got our measurement from the end of our glass windshield here and took it up to the front of the tower. It's going to be vehicle specific, but we have it where we need it in our case. Now we can fit our crossbar onto the roof of our vehicle, trying to do it as carefully as possible. The pads on the bottom should make it a little bit nicer on top of your vehicle. But we'll get it vaguely where we need to be and adjust it. When you actually place the crossbars on top of your vehicle, these feet are nice because they will actually fit in the ridges on top of your roof. Now that we have our crossbars roughly where we need them to be, we'll take a measurement to make sure that the crossbar spread is what's recommended for our vehicle. In our case, it is 32 inches. So we're about there. 
just slide this forward a little bit and that's pretty good. Now we'll get our clamps installed as well, starting by opening up that security door again, sliding it through, and all we have to do is get our tool through the middle of there and tighten it. Probably not all the way just yet. We're gonna have to adjust our other side and we probably wanna go back and forth tightening it down just to make sure that one side isn't over torqued. We've tightened the other side to where we need it to be and this one's about where we need it as well. So we'll close that security gate up and we can fit our racks back on, or the end cap back on, starting with these hinges down at the bottom and click that in place. Once you've done that, that's basically it. Fairly simple installation as long as you know where all the pieces are and what they do, but you're ready to hit the road. Overall though, I think that the Yakima roof rack system is a sleek and pretty effective roof rack system. I like that the aero bars will cut down on that wind resistance, and I really like that rubber I strip that I don't have to trim. Now, if, if aesthetics are something that's really important to you, we found that the Rhino Rack roof rack system looks just a little bit sharper, but I like the install of the Yakima roof rack system a little bit better, just a little bit easier if you're gonna be taking it on and off a lot, in my opinion. And overall, I think that it's a really nice fit on our 2022 GMC Sierra.